So the most important thing about painting is having fun and enjoying and involving others as well. If you've got children and things like that and um, that are interested in art, then encourage them to to paint something. Um, and this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do something that I normally do every year. Uh, this is um, one of the things I do for my Christmas cards every year is to come up with a standard Christmas cardy painting. When you think of that, we think of snow and things like that, which we've touched on over the last couple of weeks. Let's have a look at the palette. So I got a, a range of colours there. I got a bit of yellow, a bit of blue, a bit of red, a bit of brown, a bit of green, a bit of black, and a bit of white. It doesn't matter what that is. It could be a cadmium. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It could be a cadmium yellow or whatever, or a Prussian blue or a blue, any blue, any red, any brown, any green, black, and white. I've got a scoffing fit. I haven't coughed all day. It's marvellous. <laughs> anyway, let's get some. Let's just get some white on our brush. Let's just get a little bit of white on our brush, and it's just a small amount of blue. And let's just get a little bit of this bluey, whitey type of sky in, like this. And this is the church that I painted the other week. You may be able to see that just a little bit in the background there. I'm just going to paint over that now. I paint over my paintings. You could do that. You could you could take a picture of um, your artwork afterwards, and um, if you want, just want to turn that into a card. A lot of people do that. A lot of people turn their the Christmas paintings into cards and things, and you can you can readily buy cards and stuff in the craft shop. So, yeah, it's a good way of giving a piece of artwork, or you can paint individual cards um, if you wanted to. What a wonderful present that is, isn't it? And get your kids involved. I think the children need to have a little bit of excitement, especially the world we live in at the moment. So isn't it? It's something nice for them to have a go at as well. And if you want to spend some time with the children, this is this is the best way of doing it, really, isn't it? The best way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to increase the, the increase the blue down here because I want I want this. This, this area is going to be snowy, so I just want a, a cold feel about this whole painting today on this particular thing that I paint every year. I try to sit down with my grandchildren and and sit down and, and um, do a little bit of painting with them when they come and stay with me. A little bit of little bit of brown now, just a little bit of brown just to dirty the the foreground up. A little bit of brown, a little bit of blue, just to get that in there like that. Just to dirty that ground area up a bit. A little bit of mud showing through. That's what it is. A little bit of mud. I'll just put that on. Yeah, I, I, I well, one of my favourite times of the year. One of my favourite times of the year is Christmas. And I think it's important that we do stuff with each other. Especially in the world, as I said, that we find ourselves in at the moment. There we go. So there's our basic background all done. So I'm going to get the hair dryer on that and um, get that really dry. Okay, that should be dry enough. Now, I introduced you to a toothbrush um, <laughs> the other week when I was doing some landscapes with some snow for our Christmas cards. So. It's always important to dampen the brush. Get your brush nice and damp. And then go into some white paint because we're going to just put a little bit of snow in. I'm not going to worry about clouds and things today because this is just going to be a traditional type of Christmas card. We want to put a bit of snow in just like this. Just flecks of paint really. That's all it is. It's just little flecks of paint. Just on there like that. Just to make it look as if maybe it's it's snowy, because you don't see much cloud, do you? When you when you look up when you look up at the sky, when you look up at the sky, I'm just making sure my video is recording. When you look up at the sky in the winter and it's been snowing, you don't see cloud, do you? It's, it's like a it's like this white, bluey type of mass, and it just seems to be what well, it is in this country. It just seems to be just one color, and it's about quite amazing. I love snow. I absolutely love snow. There we go. So let's put a nice bit of snow in 
just like that and that's just using a toothbrush there we go don't use an electric toothbrush it won't get the same effect <laughs> so again hairdryer what a fantastic tool this is to have in the studio yes you'll, you'll never go wrong with the old hairdryer in the studio just don't steal the wife's or your, or, your, or your partners, because uh, they'll say, where's my hairdryer? But well, I've got it in the studio because I'm drying my paint. <laughs> okay, so we'll get another brush. Let's get a brush. Let's get a nice brush. Will this work? I wonder. Will this work? I wonder. It should work. Okay, let's get a little bit of brown. A little bit of brown, a little touch of green. There we are, and some white, a bit more brown. There we go. Maybe a little bit more white. There we are. And let's just put some. Dippy, 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 dippy marks like this, just in the background like that. Let's tap in the brush. Oh, it's, it's so easy. It's so easy when you when you're learning to paint and you can just make little marks like this. Look, little marks. Wow. You don't have to think about it, do you? These are going to be trees, by the way. You don't have to think about it, do you? There we go. Wow. Look how easy is that? Bring a bit of that down there. How easy was that? There we are. I don't even have to think about it. A little bit of white on the tip of my brush. There we go. And let's just put a, a few little flecks like this. Because don't forget these are trees in the background. They're going to have some snow on them, aren't they? They're going to have some snow. They are going to have some snow on them. There we go. Get a bit of that. Just flick that in there like that more white there you go not to worry too much about things like that there we go how was that we've already got some distant trees now we could dry that off and we could put a wash of color over that which is not a bad idea actually but before i do that i'm just going to go into a slightly darker color now slightly darker color not too dark just a slightly darker color because i just want to put a few maybe a little bit darker the smallest amount of black let's get some little dippy dippy dops like that just a little bit in the front Maybe, maybe, maybe one or two, just like that. Not too worrying too much about detail. Who minds? I don't mind. There we are, just a little bit of... Detail there. Get a bit more white, a bit more white. There you go. It's a little bit brighter than there. This is just a little bit brighter. A bit more white. So you paint in snow as well. A bit more white there. <coughs> do, 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 do. And put some brighter spots in like that there you go so we've already developed a bit of a 
Christmassy feel. So let's just get a bit of this white now that we've got on the brush. It's all different colours on this brush, it's fine. Bringing that down, a bit more white, just like this. Once you get used to painting Christmas cards, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. And um, it's so relaxing and it, and it doesn't matter about it being perfect and things like that. And you don't have to stress, you don't have to worry about perfection. Unless, unless you're that type of person, unless you're that type of artist. I, I never, was, it's never worried me. All I want to do is create a Christmas scene and not look too perfect. There we go. There we are. So we got that nice grassy winter effect. I'm going to dry that really well now. I'm going to dry it really well. Okay, so I've dr I've dried that off now. I'm going to going to get another another brush. That's a bit too soft. I'm asked how I select my brushes actually, and I just don't. I just does that is that going to work? It might do. <laughs> it might not. <laughs> That's how I roll. That's how I roll. So a little bit of blue and white, a little bit of blue, and a little bit of white, just like this. What I'm thinking of doing this year again is another snowman. So let's let's put my let's put my snowman in. Don't forget, it doesn't have to be perfectly round, because snowballs are not perfectly round, are they? They're not. They're not perfectly round. So I'm just going to put my get my dimensions of my snowman in first. So we start with one ball there, one snowball, one snowball, and then another snowball, just slightly smaller. Oh, and then another snowball. There you go. So what we need to do now is let's just use this brush. A bit of burnt umber, a bit of black, maybe a bit of green. I'm gonna put a an almighty tree just there. There you go. We put a Some branches in him. There we are. He's quite a sparse tree, this one. I want to show some of those trees behind that we put in. It's dropped a few branches, this one. There we go. <laughs> Let's put another tree. Just there. It's a happy tree, this one is smiling, look. Yeah, I like that. I, I like that. That's looking quite nice. It's looking quite Christmassy now. <laughs> it really is. It's like I like it. I like it. I'm gonna get some white paint on my brush, and now I'm just gonna put some snow 
here and there. It's just variations of the same theme, which is which is pretty good. That's why I like Christmas cards. You can paint a lot of Christmas cards very, very quickly because basically it's just a variation on the same theme. So we need to get some snow now. That's why I'm not worrying about painting over my snowman yet. some snow in <coughs> yes it's snow A little bit of green, just a little bit of colour just to flick through like that, I'm not too worried. There we are, just make it look cold and frosty. There we are, so we've got a Christmas, nice Christmas card scene, a bit more snow I think. Now. We need to get a bit more snow just over that tree and that a little bit more in the background and then mid ground I should say there we go make it look really really cold So now we need to work on our Frosty, our Frosty the Snowman, we need to work on him. So we'll have a bit of a lighter colour there, like this. In that effect that he's quite rounded. There we are. Let's get some more white. Just increasing the white now. We get we get in there. We get in there. We are getting there. Get that snow down there. There we go. Get that snow. Just like that. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll, I'm going to paint a, a different type of winter scene next week. I think I'll do something with a maybe a log cabin or something like that. And I think that would be really nice. But this type of painting, as I said in the introduction, we need to think about being able to paint with our or family members, or children, even 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 if you see, get your get your nan involved, get your nan involved, or your your partner, and say, come on, let's paint the let's paint the Christmas card. It's easy. Clive can show us. Let's have a look at his video, and we'll get that up. And we can get that painting done, and then before you know, we we've got a we've got a snowman in place. So I'm not going to dry this, I'm just going to go at it with a brush now. 
I need a script lining brush. Well, what that one there? Now I found it. Um, on a nice, on a nice detailing brush. Is that a one? I'll do. That will do. Okay, we've got a nice detail brush now. I'm thinking Christmas colours now. I'm thinking Christmas colours. So let's get a let's get a bit of brown and a, just a small brown amount of black. Because we, I want to put a, I want to put some sort of a, I want to put some sort of a hat on him. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I'm trying to get a shape of a, a brim of a hat. There we go. I'm picking up some. I'm picking up some white. That's fine. There we are. So I'll put the hat in place. I mean, we'll work it out as we as we paint it. There we go, like that. There we go. Let's get a little bit of white, just a little bit of white. And let's just bring in a little bit of this. Highlight, there you are, like that. It's an old hat that the children have brought for Frosty to wear. looks like a hat I think that looks like a hat put a bit more detail in there in a second next thing we got to do is establish where his eyes are going to be because they're two little lumps of coal so we're going to put one little lump of coal in there and we're going to put another little lump of coal just like that <laughs> and then you've got to put a few a few little a few little lumps of coal then just to make him smile like that there we go see we already you know we starting to develop mr frosty the snowman so let's get some red because i love red there we go i guess there's a little bit of a risen and crimson actually that's fine doesn't matter what red because we've got to put a scarf on him Don't forget I'm picking up that white, because the white is quite thick, but that's okay. Just adds to the effect. Don't worry about it. There we go. If you want to add a little bit of black to the red, if you wanted to, just to put some shadows in there. We'll, we'll get this scarf just around his neck there like that. Because that scarf is going to come up like this and it's gonna come down like that and then we got another one just underneath there which is going to come down like that there we go and we'll just play around a little bit with that at the moment there we are we'll just put a few little tussles on the edge of that there we go we can darken that up in a second so let's just wash the brush he's coming on he's coming on Let's get a bit of black. Let's get a bit of black. Make sure everything is recording. <laughs> and we got a, another bit of coal there. Another bit of coal over there. And it says buttons. And they're going to go down like that. There we go. So we're developing Mr. Frosty the Snowman. I'll tell you what we haven't done. I'll tell you what we haven't done. Let's add a little bit of blue and a little bit of blue and risen and crimson together there we are it's like a purple color what a wonderful color that is look at that nice red dark red nice dark red let's put a red nose
in like that. I'm going to have to dry this, I think, before I put the, the other colours on it. There's his nose anyway. Here we go. <laughs> He's looking lovely. Let's get some little... Tassels on the end of his scarf. There we go. <laughs> that looks cool. I really like that. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. Definitely looks like a snowman now. So I need to put a bit of dark there. I tell you what, that's all mixing together now. So we've got it a bit thick. So what we need to do is really dry that really, really well now. So I can I can start putting a bit of shading and stuff on and do something to his hat and that and put his arms in. Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Frosty. <laughs> what you could do, you see where that colour is nearly, it's nearly there, isn't it? So we can, let's get a little bit of, let's just get a little bit of blue. Let's just get a little bit of blue. Let's just, let's just cool that down. Just a touch. Just like that. Now cool it down. Well, just a smidgen of blue. There we are. Now we can get a bit of white. Nice bit of thick white. There we are. Just get a... Now, if we put that in front of that, you'll see it's going to stand out a lot more because that's slightly darker. There we go. Let's get a bit more snow just in front of there like that. Again, we could put a bit of snow there. <clears throat> okay, now before we do anything else, let's just get a little bit of green or brown or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What I want to do now is just put a few little flecks of maybe there's some little bits of grass sticking up. Look, see all these wonderful little things sometimes just add to what you're trying to do. You know, there's a little bit of grass just sticking up there like that. See, you can get some white, you can get some white again. And just put a little bit of snow. Maybe there's a, a couple of little bits and pieces. There we go. Just bed it in like that. Just make it look a little bit more realistic in that respect. So going back to my detail brush now, um, I want to get a bit more white because I want to put a I want to put a bit of reflection just into his heart there like that. Maybe a little bit there. Just to give it a little bit of a glow like that, and then we can get a a nice. Let's get it. Let's get a green and some white. We can put a nice green, light green headband there, like that. And then the other thing we could do is just put a few squiggles. There we are, a little bit of green on the red, like that. A little patch of red. Let's get some red. And you do, I'm, I'm only going to do a little bit, so you, you, do, you do as much detailing as you want to do now. You can do as much detailing as you want to do. We could put a, a couple of red marks there like that. Again, we can get some green. I'm just giving you some ideas now. Maybe some holly or something stuck on his head. Let's get a bit more green. It's just a little bit of green like that. Let's get some white. There we go. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more. Let's get a bit more white. Let's just put a little bit of 
reflection just on the edge of that hat like that let's get some br um let's get some brown get some brown brown and black is a, there we are it's, it doesn't matter if it's black it doesn't matter let's get to a nice sharp point there you go supposed to be his hand there we are twigs for hands twigs for fingers there you go you could have a brown 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 white 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 Brown and white. Because you've got a brush there, a broom. He's got a broom. Because when he wakes up, he s he cleans away the snow. There we are. Put his put his handle. Come in there like that. Let's just get a little bit of white on my brush. Actually, let's get a bit more white on my brush. Because the snow is just catching down there that's like that <laughs> that's Mr. Frosty he's Frosty the snowman it is put a bit of more snow around his arm there like that there we are we could put something there we could put some uh, we could put a little squirrel or something in there if you wanted to you could you could go to town with Mr. Frosty the snowman and there we go that's an easy snowman have a go get the family involved have a bit of fun there is no right or wrong way to do anything in art all it is is about sitting down spending time together and enjoying the painting process so thank you very much for being with me today where i paint away the stress of everyday life don't forget to like comment share and subscribe the thumbs up is very important because it tells other people that you know you've enjoyed watching it so and i'll, and I'll see you next time next time i'm going to paint maybe a, a, a cabin in the woods and the lake that's what i've got in my mind so i'll see you then bye